Express this in simplest form. So notice it's 2x squared minus 8x minus 42, don't be overwhelmed here, over 6x squared divided by, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. That's going to be our key step here. Right, you're dividing by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal. Times x squared minus 3x over x squared minus 9. I like these problems because they're just structured to cancel out before you have to actually do any crazy multiplication. So on the right-hand side, uh, we have uh, x squared minus 3x that can be factored into x times x minus 3. And the denominator, we can, that's the difference of two squares, so it's x minus 3 times x plus 3. On the left-hand side, factors of negative 42 that add up to negative 8. Well, I know that um, 7 and 6 go into 42. That's not going to help us. Um, so let's, let's write some factors out for 42. 42 can be broken into 1 times 20, 21. 2, uh, 1 times 41. Uh, sorry, sorry. Over. 42 can be broken into 2 times 21. 42 can be broken into 3 times what? Well, times 18. Right? 4 doesn't go into it. 5 doesn't go into it. 6 goes into it 7 times. Does 8 go into it? No. Does 9 go into it? No. Does 10 go into it? No. 11? No. Does 12 go into it? No. So you're starting to see, I think, that, that here um, we're not going to be able to find factors of 42, negative 42, that add to, to negative 8. So what I would do is factor out 2 first. So 2 times x squared minus 4x minus 21. And now we can do it, and we'll do that in a second. 6x squared. So some things starting to cancel out. The x minus 3's cancel out. Over here we can cross cancel, so x and x squared, x squared will become x, and 2 and 6 become 1 third. So that, we're almost done now because we have x squared minus 4x minus 21 all over 3 times x times x plus 3. But fortunately, this, this numerator can be factored a little bit. Let's see what happens there. Let me just clear this off here. Okay. Well, factors of, of negative 21 that add to uh, negative 4. Well, I know that negative 7 times positive 3 is negative 21. And if we add them, we do get negative 4. So we can say x... Um, x times negative 7, and then x times positive 3. Right? This will actually give us that quadratic. But notice the plus 3's can x plus 3's cancel out. And what are we left with? We have x minus 7 over 3x, our simplest form. 